Cal Bombay's involvement in South Sudan began in 1996 with the freeing of slaves taken by the Islamist North and repatriating them to their families in the South. Cal made many trips to South Sudan during the Civil War and many more after the peace agreement was signed. Bullets, bombs, landmines were not uncommon during these visits. Because Cal spoke so openly and honestly on television in Canada about the humanitarian crisis and abuses caused by the Islamist North in Sudan, he was put on the hit list of Al-Qaeda. In 1999, Cal Bombay began building small farms to help feed the more than 3 million people displaced within South Sudan because of the war and the resulting famine. Cal Bombay Ministries was formed in 2003 to concentrate on humanitarian aid and assistance. This involvement started in the building of a hospital and the beginning of much larger farms. Over 100,000 acres of land was offered to Cal Bombay Ministries to develop in southern Sudan. The Savannah Farmers Cooperative was formed as a result of this offer. Many hundreds of acres have already been cleared for vast fields of grain, particularly maize, or as we call it in North America, corn. But many more bulldozers and tractors are needed to clear and work the over 100,000 acres available at a no-cost lease to the Savannah Farmers Cooperative. The managing director of the Savannah Farmers Cooperative is Zambaduku. The Savannah Farmers Organization uh, Cooperative is the only one that has introduced mechanized farming. Uh, the other organizations that have been supporting agriculture to a small degree have been only concerned with the food security, uh, but helping the farmers with hand tools, hoes, pangas, things like that. Uh, a little bit of ox plowing has also been introduced uh, in certain parts of southern Sudan, but uh, this one uh, is not as good as what Savannah is doing. That um, whereas an ox plow will need to be used for four days to till an acre, uh, an acre is done in, in a matter of minutes with a tractor. So the, the Savannah Farmers Cooperative is a completely new thing in southern Sudan. South Sudan is transitioning from war, genocide, fear, starvation, and poverty to a dependence on their own rich soil and their own willingness to face the future in peace combined with positive action. We are helping them in that positive action. Along with the development of fields for mass food production, we are placing a very strong emphasis on the development of subsistent farmers to become self-sufficient farmers. We need to help them to increase their acreage from a nominal one to two acres up to 10, 20 or more at a very nominal charge for fuel and the driver for our small tractors. One farmer who was living in absolute poverty has increased to over 25 acres and five years later he's sending his oldest son to university. These farmers will then sell their excess product to the Savannah Farmers Cooperative at fair market value. It will then be processed through our grinding mill. This is the only industrial sized grinding mill in all of South Sudan. Currently, our farm fields are the largest producing fields in all of South Sudan. Yet, we have barely scratched the surface of the critical need to feed many hundreds of thousands of hungry people. Right now, over 2 million people in South Sudan do not have even the basics to eat. Emergency feeding is essential for the present, but support for that is dwindling from the international community. Our program is to provide long-range food production within South Sudan to eventually eliminate the need for emergency feeding. It can be done, it will be done. Our greatest need is to increase the number and size of our fields. We need to clear more bush and trees so that we can make large productive fields. We currently have two bulldozers clearing land, but with many thousands of acres to clear, plow, harrow, and plant for eventual harvest, 
quick progress is hampered. We have much of the machinery needed for farming. We have people with know-how. We just need more large machinery for clearing more productive land. And with two growing seasons each year, we can do better than Canada on equal acreage. I really must express my heartfelt gratitude to the people of Canada for what they have done so far uh, through the savannah farmers for the people of Southern Sudan. I, what they have done is, 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 is comparable to what somebody would do uh, who teaches people how to catch fish rather than supplying them with fish. That is very commendable. I would like to urge them, however, to continue to support, and particularly at this time, when we are just on the verge of, 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 of breaking through uh, in our struggle to feed the people of Southern Sudan. I, I, I appeal to the people of Canada to come to our aid, to support Calbon Bay Ministries, which is doing so much uh, to help the people of Southern Sudan, uh, so that uh, this, this, this vision, which has picked up so much, can grow stronger and stronger and, and, and expand. Uh, at the moment, we are only limited to Central Equatorial State uh, in, in, in Southern Sudan. Southern Sudan has 10 states, and it is our dream that one day savannah farmers will cover the whole of Southern Sudan. But we cannot realize that dream on our own. We need support. We need support from well-meaning people like you, the people of, uh, of Canada. And I really encourage you to work with and to support us through Calbombe Ministries. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Cal Bombay. I'd like to invite you to become involved in this farming project in South Sudan. It is the largest one of its kind, but it's not near meeting the need of the over two million people that are facing starvation, many of whom could be dead a year from now because of lack of food. With your help, you can make a difference that will last forever in many, many lives. Please become involved with us. Please contact as soon as you can. Thank you very much.